Thank you, Chase and Rebecca. Zero trust is one of the most talked about topics in cybersecurity today. Our rapid move to a work from anywhere environment, together with the sheer number of breaches so far this year, has brought zero trust to the forefront. Talking to organisations around the world, I hear the same stories and requests. They tell me they know they need to continually enhance their abilities to detect adversaries, and they understand that whilst identity-based attacks and lateral movement are key tactics and techniques of adversaries, they need an easier way to keep them out of the network. The reality is that organisations have to struggle with traditional legacy security methods to detect and prevent these types of identity attacks. This is not a surprise, however. Traditional security models operate on the assumption that all network activities on the inside of the perimeter should be trusted. It's the medieval model of building a moat and keeping everyone out that you don't trust, but giving everyone inside free reign. What we do know is that traditional methods and security solutions continue to do little to stop cyber attacks, to stop insider threats, and ultimately to stop breaches. So what is a zero trust architecture? It's a concept that we've heard about for a long time. It's a concept that was first introduced by Forrester Research in 2010, and it was generally considered appropriate only for organisations that want a high level of assurance when protecting sensitive data and organisations that have large security budgets and a workforce to support it. Zero trust is exactly as it sounds. It's an architecture based on the principle that nothing, no user, no device, or no application attempting to interact with your architecture can be considered to be secure. So controlling access to applications, services, and data should be reliant on verification of the device and the user being who they claim to be. Now, the real challenge for organisations today is how do you implement zero trust? How do you do it without adding additional complexity? How do you do it without introducing migration projects that take years to reach fruition? And most importantly, how do you do it in a cost-effective way for both deployment and ongoing maintenance? Finally, you need to be able to continually assess and challenge users without creating a painful user experience. So what are some of the examples of problems organisations are facing today that we aim to solve? Firstly, dealing with compromised users or devices. This one's straightforward. Attackers will attempt to escalate privileges, they will try to move laterally, and then they'll try to compromise all network devices in the organisation. Compromised privileged users and service accounts. By nature, privileged users such as administrators can bring more risk. Organisations that also heavily use service accounts, they have access, they are often hard to manage, they're forgotten, and they are another way to provide an attacker with easy access to key systems and data. Attackers will always look to attack Active Directory infrastructure. So protecting your organisation's authentication infrastructure is critical. Attackers will try to abuse authentication infrastructure through the use of brute force attacks, golden ticket attacks, forged pack files, or attempts to harvest data from Active Directory directly. And finally, insider access abuse. A malicious insider, or maybe a frenemy, that can quickly unravel the best laid plans of the security team. So how do you accomplish zero trust with zero friction? At the heart of being able to provide a good, frictionless experience for IT, security and for end users is the ability to analyse and take action on information, to take action on attacks and do it in real time without disrupting the business. I'm incredibly excited about the announcement of the acquisition of Preempt Security. Together, CrowdStrike and Preempt will provide a path forward for a realistic and easily attainable zero trust model that doesn't require a cost prohibitive overhaul. Together, we will build a strategic understanding around an enforcement capability for every user's identity, behavior, and risk profile, including visibility and control that encompasses all IT environments, whether you are cloud, on-premise, 
or an organisation that uses a combination of both. With the addition of preempt security's capabilities, the Falcon platform will provide enhanced protection against identity-based attacks and insider threats and provide real-time threat prevention based on identity, behaviour, together with risk. And we will do it without the complexity from the legacy approaches to traditional zero-trust models. Earlier this year, CrowdStrike jointly announced an alliance with Okta, with Netscope and Proofpoint, and the goal is to help organisations implement a comprehensive, modern and integrated zero-trust strategy. By integrating our technology with best-of-breed solutions, including with CrowdStrike store partners, now we combine with Preempt, and CrowdStrike will be leading the charge in delivering an end-to-end -end zero trust solution for customers. One of the unique features of the Preempt platform is its ability to meet the conditional access requirements of an organisation, and we can do it without putting unnecessary burden on security staff, and importantly, without impacting the end user experience and their productivity. The technology detects identity-based attacks and unauthorised access attempts, allowing customers to block, notify, force re-authentication, or challenge the user with multi-factor authentication. And Preempt identifies threats with a high degree of accuracy whilst ensuring that legitimate activities are not disrupted. This conditional access is achieved by applying machine learning on data gathered from Active Directory, Cloud SSO from partners such as Okta and Ping, NTLM logs and other sources. Combined with CrowdStrike Falcon's industry-leading threat telemetry, which correlates over four trillion point related events per week in real time from across the globe, customers will receive a highly effective solution to apply advanced access controls and detect anomalous activities in real time. The innovation you have heard today our decision to acquire Preempt to integrate our technology with best of breed solutions is just a small example of the kinds of significant bets we are making today and going to continue to make in the future to sustain our leadership as the security pro provider of choice to organisations like yours. Our mission is to stop breaches. In pursuit of that goal, my commitment as CTO is unwavering and unlimited to fight the good fight against cybercrime and the disruption, loss and chaos that it brings. We continue to make significant investments in far-reaching R&D efforts within CrowdStrike, extending our global leadership and domain experience in areas like artificial intelligence and machine learning, cloud computing, big data analytics, security automation, of course, zero trust and much, much more. As my friend and colleague, Sean Henry has taught us, Though we belong to thousands of different organisations spread across a multitude of industries, cultures, languages, geographies, we are truly in this together. For all of us, it's one team, one fight. Thank you.